Time now for a check on your forecast. Here's Katie. I haven't seen any showers this morning. They were just starting to pick us pick up for us this time yesterday. I was starting to finally see drops on the lenses and then some reflections in the parking lots and on sidewalks and areas on the ground. Not seeing that this morning. In fact, if anything, I'm seeing more blue sky and sun breaks as we get into the start of the morning hours. Here on radar, we're only picking up a few showers a little here there. Of course, I've been watching up at the mountain. We ended up getting about eight inches at Timberline and three or four there at uh, Ski Bowl and Government Camp, which is pretty close to what we were anticipating for the morning. There's still a chance for light showers today. It's not much. In fact, there are some models that are saying we won't get more than a hundredth of an inch, but really we're looking at a few hundredths of an inch probably in total through today, and then maybe a tenth by the time we're done with the next three days at most. It's really lightening up for us. It's just a few showers here or there with the mild temperatures. This is where we landed yesterday. I made it to just a little less than a quarter of an inch. You can see that that still kept us below where we typically are for this time of the month. Some sun breaks in there, scattered showers, a few more sun breaks, the going into the evening, a few clouds, maybe get to see some stars. And then we go into Monday, you'll see it's pretty cloudy to start the day, a break here or there. And then Tuesday morning, you'll have a chance for a shower or two. And then you'll see in the afternoon, in between the sun breaks, there are a place for a few showers. So not completely dry right now on Tuesday, but definitely just a shower chance here or there, nothing soaking. And we see that when we start to look at the models accumulating. This is the one that shows the different models and how much we could see by the time we get to eight o'clock tonight. Like I mentioned, this one only a hundredth of an inch and then that one, though this is the European one, shows a tenth of an inch. When we look at this one, this is a different model because we always look at multiple models. It only shows four hundredths of an inch all the way through the next three days. So you can see any way you slice it, going to be lighter showers for us today. Mostly cloudy, but dry most likely tomorrow. Then you saw that shower chance with some sun breaks on Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, when we have that ridge that's built in, those are the warmest and driest, sunniest days we have on this seven-day forecast. And then on Friday, the ridge starts to break down. That allows the trough to come in. We're back to average for our temperatures with the return for showers, maybe a few on Saturday. And overnight, after we get through tonight into tomorrow, it's at or above average for those overnight temperatures the entire week.